Hello, my fellow Croft brothers. This is going to be a very long time lapse. But don't you worry. I'm going to have fun with this. Because over the past three days, I have been watching the entire Puff and Stuff series. And that's what you're watching right now, me watching the entire Puff and Stuff series in time lapse form. So, yes. Let's get into this. This is supposed to be a retrospective, I guess. I didn't write a script for this. So, yeah, let's get started. Stolen from Wikipedia, H.R. Puff and Stuff is a children's television series produced by Sid and Marty Croft in the United States. It was the first Croft live action show, Life Size. Croft Live Action Life Size Puppet Program, not including their previous work with Hanna Barbera program with the Hanna Barbera program, The Banana Splits Adventure Hour. The seventeen episodes were originally broadcast on Saturday mornings from September 6, 1969 to Sep- December 27, 1969. The broadcasts were successful enough that NBC kept it on their schedule until August 1972. The show was the show was shot at Paramount Pictures and its opening was shot to, at Big Bear Lake, California. Reruns of the show aired on ABC Saturday morning from September 2nd, 1972 to September 8th, 1973, and on Sunday mornings in some markets from September 16th, 1973 to September 8th, 1974. It was syndicated by itself from September 1974 to June 1978, and in the package was six other Croft series, including the Barry Croft Superstars, from 1978 to 1985, reruns of the show were featured on TV Land in 1999 as part of their Super Retrovision Saturday Saturday morning related overnight prime programming walk, and in summer of 2004 as, as a part of TV Land, I can't pronounce that name, weekend light night prime programming block. It was later shown on MeTV from 2014 until 2016, 2004, and 2007. HR Puffin Stuff was ranked 22 and 27, respectively, on TV Guide's top cult shows ever. Yes! That was a lot of information. <sighs> now, what we're going to look at first, other than that brief history lesson that wore me out, was some of the stats I recorded for this. Yes, I recorded stats. That's why you see me pulling out my notebook and pencil every two seconds. Don't question why I have a pink glitter pencil. Uh, so let us start with my biggest statistic, the number of times which was said, the word which. 245. You want to know what episode had the most instances of the word which? The Visiting Witch, with 69. The runner-up had 22. My goodness. Oh, my camera fell over and that's not. <laughs> uh, number of times flute was said was 86. They just straight up forgot to say flute in a couple episodes. Like, straight up forgot about Freddy, the main, like, MacGuffin of the show. Just straight up forgot about him. Uh, number of times someone got whacked was 70. Number of times someone said, I'm scared, especially Freddy, <laughs> was 10. And I just want to quickly point out that I only reviewed 16 out of the 17 episodes, and we'll get to that later. Uh, so there could be more instances of I'm scared, especially judging by the episode I didn't review. We'll get to that. Number of times it was the full intro, from what I saw, 13. Number of times it was only the end of the intro, 3. The average number of the word which per episode was 15.3. The average number of flutes per episode was 5.3. The average number of wax per episode was 4.3. And the average number of I'm scared was 0.6. Oh, by the way, this is going to be a series and I'm exploring all the puffin stuff lore. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that. So, now that we got the really fun stats out of the way. Let's get to my rankings. The real fun stuff. 
Okay, I only have about a minute until uh, we get on to the next thing. So, at number 17 for rankings, I have The Horse with the Golden Throat. I just hate this episode. I This was the one I said I didn't review because I hate it so much. Ugh. So, yes, I only reviewed 16 out of 17 episodes. Yeah. Uh, next on my list of worst, best, worst to best episodes is, what do you mean the horse gets the girl? I hate horse. Uh, so my main gripe with this episode is they just completely forgot about the whole premise of the show. In, in, instead, they just made a Western movie. Ugh. And so, yeah, let's just go over the stats for that episode real quick. Number of times witch was said, 10. Number of times flute was said, 2. And that was only in the intro. And number of times someone got whacked, 1. Yeah, you can kind of tell that they forgot about Freddy in the last couple of episodes. At least in the last episode, which we'll get to, I uh, they had Freddy. They had Freddy, and... That was basically my main gripe with this episode. Hey, Pop Rose, it's like, yeah, I think I'm and I'm still working, so sorry for the scene change, but <clears throat> okay, so we'll be working on this, and so we're on that down, so get ready for work on my <laughs> After that brief interruption by myself, let's get on to the next worst episode, in my opinion Flute, Book, and Candle, episode 12. I dislike this episode because it was terrible. It just had terrible video quality. It, like, there was no send-off. It cut off the only good part of the episode, the song. I just really didn't like this episode. And the fact that they just fridged... I, I guess I shouldn't say fridge. They just cut Freddy out of the story so early on, that just, ah, that just made me kind of mad. So, I didn't really like it. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know how much time I have left on recording, so let me check. check. Alright, so I have less than a minute left. So, box tight caper number eight. I don't really have too much to say about this, because I have so little time. But, just know, I didn't like it that much. Yay! Uh, my dad doesn't like me for not liking this episode. It was episode number eight. Hey, so I just shared my notes real quick, as you probably saw. But I woke up at, like, six this morning, which is really unusual for me and I got barely any sleep last night so I think I'm gonna hit the hay early even though it's only like nine I think I'm gonna hit the hay early and let you know if I start watching it at like 3 a.m. because I woke up in the middle of the night so yeah Hey, it's the next day. I changed clothes. I put on a little bit of makeup that you can't really see. I'm wearing bell bottoms. Look how much leg room that has. Uh, so, yeah, it's the next day. Let's get on with the video. After my incessant ramblings, uh, with that, uh, so, let's move on to number 13 in my rankings. Dinner for two. That's the one where Jimmy gets turned into an old man. Uh, eh. I don't really have too much to say about it, if I remember correctly. Uh, my final note on it was meh, not really notable. Uh, sorry I haven't been sharing the stats for these episodes, but I don't know. I've just been trying not to override my very intriguing yesterday information so 
Yeah. Uh, then, at number 12, I know I'm gonna get a little bit of hate for this, Showbiz Witch. Oranges, smorges, who said? Oranges, smorges, who said? This is about the point where I realized I was going to have some trouble with figuring out should I choose the iconic episodes or should I choose the episodes that I actually like? It was kind of a tie between Showbiz Witch and The Stand-In, which is the introduction of Shirley episode. And I just, I liked the stand-in more. It had a good setup and payoff for one of the jokes. And I really liked that joke. So, yes. Uh, not too much to say about it. There was a little, there was a little bit of something, something there. <laughs> but not too notable. Then, at number 11, the stand-in. Uh, flipping. Uh, so, and that was, like I said, I liked that one joke. So, yeah. And I also like this, I don't think of you as a woman, I think of you as a witch. I like that line. Uh, then, like, this is also an episode that has a really cute story with Billy Hayes behind it, so... Yeah, maybe I'll share that at one point. I, I've tried to a couple of times, but it's never made it out into the world. Then at number 10, you can't have your cake. And let me flip to that page, because I did not prepare for this. Okay, uh, I did not expect to put this so far down on the list, because Judy is my favorite character, and this is the main Judy episode. It has the moonwalk. I shouldn't memorize it. It's really hard. <laughs> uh, then there's a couple of good quotes. How stupid do you think I am? Very. Very what? How stupid do they think I am? Very. Very what? Very stupid. <laughs> That's what I think. I think. He's got drug with power. <laughs> so, yes. And then, of course, I love Judy, so, yeah. The number nine, the mechanical boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I told you I would have some controversial opinions. Uh, but the mechanical boy yeah, is number nine because, I don't know. I, I liked it, but there wasn't too much I could say about it. It was the first episode that Jimmy got brainwashed, but... Yeah. That number eight, the almost election of Witchy Poo. Yay. Uh so I just I just really like some puffs of seeps. Hey, it's me. Uh it is currently 844. And I thought I was just gonna do this one night. I'm not. Uh I still have two episodes left. I did four in that last last time lapse, which is very good because now I have a slightly less work to do. But now I have to go and do the last two episodes, and tomorrow I'm going to think. I think I'm going to cover the rest of the floor space. This is getting tiring. I thought I put myself in a arbitrary two-day limit, but I didn't, so we're still doing this. Okay, quick fire round. Uh, at, t t <laughs> at number seven, a tooth for a tooth. Not very notable, but I like it. T at number six, the wheelie bird. I used to think this was my favorite episode, but I don't anymore, but it does have some nail polish sparkle emoji moments in it. Uh, then I'm gonna get hated for this, but the magic path. Uh, that is my number five pick. I know. I know. Uh, then number four, the golden key, the one that everyone forgets. 
I like that one because of reasons. Yeah. So, uh, let's talk about the golden key a little bit before my time runs out here. Flipping, flipping, flipping. Just making sure I don't provide some of my information. Ah, uh, where is it? Ah, uh, uh. The Golden Key. Uh, I really like this episode. It's better than the Magic Path. It's a secret, genuine escape map which leads to the Golden Key, which opens the Magic Golden Escape Door. The Magic Path never had any of that lore text. I love it. All right, on to the next scene. Hey, I'm done. Yay! I finished the series. Now I gotta do math, but I finished the series. I, I think I'm gonna do the movie next, after I do all the summarizing, the notes, all that jazz. But, thank you so much for coming along with me. I mean, I'm going to record more, but, <laughs> thank you so much. I could not have done this very long video without you. This is going to take forever. I love you. Bye. All right, I have barely any time left. So, at number three, The Visiting Witch, the one the movie's based on. At number two, Jimmy Who, the last episode. I like this one because Jimmy is hilarious in this one. <laughs> Who's Jimmy? Yeah, I'm an owl. You're su I'm supposed to say who. Stuff like that. And at number one, my favorite episode is The Birthday Party. Because it flip-flopped with my emotions. So, uh, let me look at my notes. Is it, uh, uh, oh, Jimmy, be happy. It won't last long. This makes me feel really happy. I love this song. Yeah. Now I'm mad because Witchy Poo has to ruin it. To We're getting the band back together from Showbiz Witch. I'm really sad now. Why can't this episode just be happy? When the witch finds out, haha, <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Laughs and faints. Uh, <laughs> I this is- this got really dark really fast. At least Judy is in this one. The witch is willing to kill a flute. Very relevant. That was about the measles outbreak thing. The freaky puppets wear the mask, right? Witchy Poo seems such, like such a Karen. I sure hope so. This broke my heart. Five stars. So, I hope that tells you a little bit about my rankings and a little info about puff and stuff, but I'm gonna try to make more videos about this. Alright, I'm going to bed. I did all my stats. I did all my math. You'll hear the ranking in the voiceover. Uh, you probably already have. But, yeah. I'm gonna try and hit the hay to see you if I wake up randomly at 3am. It is also 12.04 at night. Yay! There goes my sleep schedule. Sure hope so.